Hi, I'm Kelly Lee McFrederick. I'm a certified international property specialist through the National Association of Realtors. And I love talking to realtors and home buyers, home sellers all across the world. What we're gonna talk about is how do you start to actually concentrate on the area that you wanna invest or build your business in? What, what is the model that you look for? What is the country assessment model? One of the first things is to start with what you already know. Do you have contacts in that other country? Do you have family over there? Do you have college friends? Do you know attorneys? Do you know CPAs? Sometimes they call those the gatekeepers to meet people that do have the power to, to purchase. So we look at what your first networking is in another country. How do you get on the social platforms? Where do you maybe start mar marketing your listings that you have? We have, definitely we have here in America, we have international platforms that we definitely use to get out into the world to see some other properties. We also look at what is the world view of that country? Do we agree with their business and their social behaviors? Is it a place that people want to agree with, that we're not having strife with, that we feel good about that? That also goes into the demographics. What is the demographics? Of? Is it more agricultural? Is it business? Is it tech? Or is it resort? And it's more beach. You know, who's buying there? Is that somewhere that most people are buying and holding and renting? So those are some of the demographics that we really look at. We also want to make sure that the government is stable. How is the money working? Is the money staying very current that you know that you do have a good investment, whether it's just for your family or that it is some kind of commercial venture that you want to do? Also, that real estate is very important. How is it owned? Is it owned by a lease? Are you able to have full ownership? Are you able to purchase it and then give it back to property manager to manage that as well? And then there's some great programs in the islands where you can have that and then actually reinvest it in another 10 years. There's so many wonderful ways to hold. In some of our Asian countries, we would have where you can buy in certain areas and only lease in certain areas. Some places in Mexico, you can't get too close to the beach zone. So you really need to be aware of some of those ideas. We also look at the geography. Geography is, is it easy to go? Are the streets in good working order? Can you get from the city? Can you get to the beach? How hard is it to work around that area? You know that maybe if you're up in the mountains and you like that though, how is your technology? Do you have internet every day? Do you have water every day? Do you have electric? How stable is that infrastructure there? So those are some important things to really look at as you certainly have an area of how do you assess the country you wanna work at. So look at your networking, look at your government stable, look at the world views, look at the demographics, look at the infrastructure, look how the real estate is owned, the economy and the business, and the geography of how many people wanna to go to the area that you are seeking to either sell, buy, or represent. Kelly Lee McFrederick, you can always reach me at klmcfrederick at gmail.com. Phone number is one plus one, seven, two, seven, four, one, zero, three, six, zero, five. And I will look forward to hearing from you.